Hey guys, Jimmy here, uh, putting together this uh, little tutorial here on rigging the leg with reverse foot controls uh, using group nodes. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is create custom attributes on the feet here, at least the one foot, uh, by setting up a groups to use as pivot points and then parent those uh, in a specific order to control the IK. So bear with me as uh, this will probably be a little bit of a longer video than normal. But anyway, uh, also this is actually part three of the video. So I've already got the uh, joints already lined out. They're oriented as well. And I've also created a uh, control here. Um, now I didn't do anything with the control yet as we've done in the previous video. Uh, so I will go ahead and uh, I'm going to group that. So uh, move the offset around to the foot. And uh, we're ready to put in IK. See, I've got my outliner open over here. And very important when you create the leg uh, joints is to have at least a small bend in the knee here so that the IK handle knows which way. It gives it a rotation direction. So uh, with, now I'm just going to go into my IK handle tool option box and just show you guys really quick. Uh, default is SC solver. We're looking for the RP solver right here. And usually when you have more than one joint, you're connecting more than one joint, you're going to want to use the RP solver. It uses, uh, utilizes the rotation factors in the joint. The SC solver is going to be a single chain solver. So we're going to use that in one second. So RP solver, select the hip joint. And, oh, and I'll probably delete this body or hide this body here in a second. So, Okay, so I've got my basic IK handle. I did put a mesh in here just so that... Uh, we have something to look at, but I'm going to take it out of here. So. Okay, here's our basic leg. I've got the IK handle set up. Uh, it's pretty small. Again, like I said, I was working in meters, so I'm going to move the size of that IK handle set up. I probably can't see because it it's right over my That's huge. Um, okay. So we've got that one. I need to go back in. And uh, like I said, so I am, we made a IK, IK handle tool. I'm going to go to the options here. RP solver from the hip joint down to the ankle joint. Now I'm going to go in with the SC solver. And I'm going to connect the ankle joint to the ball joint. I'm going to select off of there. And then I'm going to that tool again from the ball joint to the toe joint. Did it take here? Yeah. Let's see uh, IK popping up here. One second. Okay, so we got our three IK, so I'm going to call this uh, leg, leg, underscore IK, second one, ball, underscore IK. I have a little bit of a stuffed up nose, I guess, so I listened to a pre-recording, sounds kind of funky, but whatever. Uh, okay, so leg, ball, and toe IK we've got set up. And we've got our controller set up. And so, got those named. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I mentioned, uh, or if I have mentioned, uh, we're gonna, basically we're creating the custom attributes on the feet uh, by setting up some groups that we're going to use as the pivot points. Uh, and then we're going to parent those to some of the IKs in a manner um, that uh, is effective for uh, rotating the foot and reverse the rotation. So uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna set up five groups. So to do that, just deselect off of everything and Control G. We'll see one. I need to deselect again. Control G. Control G. Just make sure over here that you didn't group a group when you're doing that. So um, let me scroll down these notes just to make sure. Uh, okay. So the first first group is going to be heel. 
twist. And for group, I'm just doing capital G R P. Second group is going to be toe twist. And G R P. Third group is going to be heel lift. Group. And the fourth group. Hell, I did hell again. Awesome. Um, toe lift group heel hell left anyway. um, and the last one is going to be my foot roll <coughs> group okay so uh, now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to move the pivot points around Oops. Um, so that like I said, so that they're going to affect and roll the foot around like we want. So I'm going to go into the insert, tap the insert key. And for the heel twist group, I'm going to snap that to the uh, ankle joint. And what I'm going to do is I tap the insert key, hold V down and middle mouse button, and it'll snap right over to your ankle joint. Um, the toe twist group, as you can probably imagine, is going to go to the toe joint. Heel lift group is going to go to the ball joint because what I want that to do, I'm going to undo the insert, is I want it to lift up. Oh, it's not connected yet, never mind. I want it to lift the heel up from the ball. So, um, heel lift group, toe lift group. Oops, sorry about that. Toe lift group, we're going to snap to the ball as well. Ball joint. And the foot roll group, we're going to snap to the ankle group, ankle joint. So, okay, just so you got those. So the heel twist group, we're going to snap the pivot point to the ankle group. The ankle joint, excuse me. The toe twist group, we're going to snap the pivot to the toe joint. The heel lift group, we're going to snap the pivot point to the ball joint, the toe lift group we're going to snap to the ball joint, and then the foot roll group we're going to snap uh, the point to the ankle joint. Okay, and I will cover, I'll show you why, oh, I'm going to go undo our insert key, and I will go, I'll show you why we're doing that. Um, I'm going to go into my panels, and I'm going to go, okay, so panels, I'm going to go into the hypergraph, hierarchy. And here we go. Okay, so over here in my groups, I'm going to move this over so you guys can see this better. And my IK. So the first one that we're going to do is we're going to take the ball IK and the toe IK, which is these two, and we're going to place them under the toe lift group, which is down here. So you select the middle mouse button, drag them over. And the next one we're going to do is we're going to place the left leg IK under the heel lift group here. I'm trying to keep this uh, fairly large so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, and then we're going to place uh, the toe lift group and the heel lift group under the toe twist. Oh, I spelled that wrong. But... Let's, let's fix that. This one and put these under the toe twist. So now when I select the toe twist, I'm just gonna give a little demo. Um, and what it's gonna do is twist on the toe. Um, if I select the heel lift group, now you'll see it's set up, it'll lift right on the heel, and the toe lift group will lift your toe up. This control is to lift your toe upwards um, if you're rolling your foot or whatever. So um, now we've got the toe twist group. We're going to place the toe twist group under the heel twist group. So now when I select the heel, the entire chain follows. And then, of course, we're going to place the uh, heel twist group under the foot roll group. So under the foot roll group, um, oh, this should be called actually foot reverse roll. So that's going to be our stepping roll. Anyway. Um, 
it also will move the twist from the heel. So, okay. And so here is your setup, basically. Um, whoops. And this is this is uh, how we want these grouped. So we continue on. I'm gonna pause this video just for one minute. Okay, sorry about that. Um, little drink of water there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some custom attributes. So whoops. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go back into the outliner here. Get a little more screen space, and um, we're gonna add some custom attributes to the control here. Make sure you have the controls set, selected, and you can either go here, edit, um, add attribute, or you can always go modify, add attribute. Either way, same panel comes up, and we're gonna create um, six, it was five, but I'm doing six now, custom attributes, and here we go. So with this window open, I'm gonna say lift, heal, Oh, I got a bad habit of doing hell. Um, lift heel, we're gonna go with a float, um, scalar, and minimum is going to be zero. Maximum is gonna be 10, and default is gonna be zero. Uh, basically, so what that's gonna do is with the lift heel selected, where are we? Um, I should have stayed in the other one, but whatever. Um, yeah, you know, that is actually easier. See, so, yeah, I'll jump back into here. It's going to be easier when we're setting these up. So, in the heel lift, in the lift heel, sorry, um, uh, we're going to put it into here. And basically, what it's going to do is uh, lift our heel up that way. So, it's just going to go from 0 to 10. You know, there's no negative. Uh, otherwise, we'd have a broken foot. So, that's why we have... Oh, I forgot to save it. Anyway, okay, lift heel. And minimum zero, maximum is 10, default's 10, and then we're going to add it. Oh, sh shit, sorry. Um, okay, I'm going to undo that. I don't know if it added something or not. Probably not. Um, silly, silly. Uh, i got to have the control selected. All right, let's try this again. Long name, heel, lift, minimum zero, maximum 10, <laughs> default zero. Let's see if I can get it right this time. Foot control selected, and there we go. We got uh, heel lift here. So, again, um, I'm going to create another attribute, keep this open. Uh, my second one's going to be lift toe. And uh, that one is going to be uh, 0, 10, 0 as well. I'm going to add that. And we've got uh, twist heel. Put it up there. A lot better. Um, twist heel. Now that one we do have... Um, Goes both ranges both ways. So I'm gonna go negative 10, 10, minimums negative 10, maximums 10, and default will start at the middle at zero. I'm gonna add that one, and the twist toe is next, which will also have the same same uh, numbers that are to be keyable. So we'll say negative 10, tab, maximums 10, tab zero. You gotta keep in mind that we're doing floats here, so this will go in the decimals to at least the hundredth. I think it's a hundredth, so it'll go, you know, 9.9, 9 9.8, 9 9.7. So, yeah, quite a few digits to work with there. And after the twist toe, we've got stand toe. And that one is uh, 0, 10, 0. And that one. And lastly, but not least, is the reverse foot. Reverse. And that one is 0, 10, 0, add. Okay, so we've got these over here. Uh, we've got six of those uh, from the add attributes. And now what we're going to do to control those, because they won't do anything right now, is we are going to uh, create a set driven keys. Uh, 